much. It is time for this week's medical rounds. A new procedure at Hartford Hospital is offering promising results for those with an irregular heartbeat, otherwise known as atrial fibrillation. Doctors at Hartford Hospital were the first in the area to offer patients treatment utilizing the cryo balloon system. It is a safe and effective alternative to traditional ablation procedures. And here to explain it all to us is Dr. Eric Crespo. He is the director of Hartford Hospital's Interventional Electrophysiology Labs. What a mouthful. Dr. Crespo, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. First off, speaking of labs, Hartford Hospital recently opened its expanded cardiac electrophysiology lab. Tell us a little bit about the redesign and what it means for patients. So last year we performed over 1,300 procedures at Hartford Hospital for heart rhythm disorders. And this increasing demand led us to want to expand our procedural space. So this month we opened our third electrophysiology lab as well as a new redesigned pre and post-op area. This is really great for patients because it allows them to have all their care in the same location in the hospital by a dedicated heart rhythm staff. Yeah, that's definitely wonderful. And what about the cryo balloon system? How is that different than traditional ablation. So traditional ablation involves putting a catheter up into the heart from the veins and the legs to create scars to eliminate the area causing the rhythm problem. Traditionally for atrial fibrillation we did this by creating lots of small scars that would be strung together in a point-by-point -point fashion which could sometimes take over four hours for a procedure. The cryo balloon system uses extreme cold to freeze larger areas of tissue all at once allowing for a more efficient rapid procedure in most cases under two hours. Okay and finally what types of patients are best suited for this particular procedure? So ablation comes into play when patients have not responded to medication and lifestyle changes or when patients just want to get off of medication. The particular kind of a procedure that we do will depend on a variety of patient-specific factors. All right, Dr. Crespo, some great information there. Thank you so much again for joining us tonight.